Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the second video of the series. If you haven't seen the first video or the intro, I recommend that you do that first. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, leave a comment, uh, leave a like, and just tell other people if you enjoy this channel. That will help me a lot. Thank you. So let's start with, uh, so let's go to chapter two. Right? And so we left off at this part so we got to so we got our web app so you can run it it's here as you can see um, so let's start here now so Django basics right so Django is a framework which you uh, follows a model view controller most people uh, disagree with this uh, they say that's an MVT which is a model view and templates because we use templates and URLs We'll just leave it at that. You can investigate if you you want to know more about that. Uh, the models, the models contain all the data that's going to be stored in the database. And this is how a model looks in Django. So you'll have the name, last name, username, email, phone, maybe more fields if you want to. And they'll just, you know, in the database, you'll have uh, an ID for that, mo for that uh, model. And then you'll have a, you know, first name, in this case, Andrew last name and all of these and this is how it looks in the database you have templates which provide an interface between users and websites views pass the uh, data from the database to the templates and URLs all the websites have uh, URLs which take you from one uh, page to another uh, Django admin site so this is where we're gonna begin today and we're running so if you wanna stop running just go control C I'll get I'll, it will get you back here so now we're gonna create a super user so that we can actually manage um, the the model I think yeah I think that's why we're doing it here so this helps you to manage the models add more data and and all of that uh, delete them you know all those operations edit them mm. so let's do this so issue this command python manage the py create super user after you issue it uh, it will tell you like you can use your name right but if you leave it blank in this case i'm gonna use uh, the same credentials that we're using here so admin so the email address uh, we'll use gmail.com the password once again password one two three again password one two three it will tell you like oh this password is too common you can change it you can use a different password I'm gonna stick to this one so I'm gonna put uh, Y which is yes here and super user created successfully so now that we have the super user we'll go to the admin site so we already have uh, we have a yeah we have a running here Oh, is it running? I don't think it's running. It's not running. So let's just uh, issue the command Python to manage the py the run server. And let's run the server so that we can access the admin panel. Alright, so now if you go to this URL and then just, you know, type admin here. So you'll get to the admin panel or you can just use this link right all right let's uh or where am i just went away all right so let's just log in with the credentials that we just created so it will take you to this place which is the the django admin user uh, admin panel you wait let's see what what, what we do here Oh yeah, so you can go to users and you'll see that there is just one user created which has a staff status, which means that you can edit, you can delete, you can add more use uh yeah, more users and other things. You can do more things here. So you're the admin in other words. So I don't think this is important. It's just an explanation of what I just said. So the listings model so for the listings model so let's go back to our project here and 
for the listings app it's here go to so open the listings app uh, folder or directory open models.py and you shouldn't have anything here and we're going to start with this uh, making these imports because we're going to use those things Also, uh, you can let me know in the comments if the pace is fine, if you want me to go slower or faster, if you want me just to copy paste, or if you want me to actually type them. Uh, you know, just uh, let me know if you have any suggestions, just leave them on, uh, in the comments. So this is just an explanation of these uh, imports that we're doing. So this is the listings model. Uh, as you can see, it's... Uh, it's a lot of typing here so I might have to copy paste and then just go explain everything so these are the imports that we just did these three here oh, wow. okay and um, yeah so let me just copy paste and then I'll explain every single thing yeah so this is the listings model so I'm just gonna linger here a little bit so that you can copy it if you wanna copy it I won't go that fast uh, that's not the purpose of this course anyways And this is the second part so this is just one part all right and then i okay so let me just uh, do that so let me just copy paste this and then we can um and we can proceed from there i guess so let's go back to this so these are the imports that we did and let me all right i think you can see right so we're gonna create a model. This is how you create a model. So it's gonna be named uh, listings models that model. So do we want the bike to be picked up or do we want to ship the bike? So we give the option to the user. So again, the sale type, right? For the condition, same thing. We we give the option. Is it used? Is it new? For the product type. What is it? Is it like a like a bike? Is just parts of a bike? Is other thing, other th other things? I don't know anything related to bikes, I guess. So the title, it's the name, you know, which kind of bike it is. Like a, I don't know about bikes, but like like a Scott bike or like a, I don't know any other bike. Uh, I mean, I know some bikes, but they're not coming to mind right now. Anyways, the condition again. So we have to create these text choices and then we can call 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 them here. So we so what's the condition, right? So you, we use a, like a char field, a max length 50 choices because we want it to be like we want people to choose between the choices that we're giving them. So choices condition type that choices default is going to be condition type that used. So by default it's going to be used. You can put new here. Wouldn't affect anything. So the product type, same thing. So you create the choices here and then you you call them here so that you can display them in the in the field that you want. In this case, condition, product type, sale type. So after you do all of these, we create another one, another variable, which is price. And we want it to have a so models that float field. Why do we want float? because it could be the price could be something like it's not going to be like a whole number all the time it could be i don't know on 599 and 99 cents right or it could be 499.99 so that's why it's a float because you can have decimals with a float float field for the city uh char field you know just uh just make a max length of I think a hundred is way too much you can change that as well a state char field zip code in this case this is a char field you can also use like an integer field uh, the main photo uh, the image the photo one two so more more uh, more images for the for the listing I guess you can uh, add more if you want to in this case I'm just using uh you know three uh, photos two are mandatory 
and this one is uh so it could be left blank and then you would still be able to submit the so we're going to put this in a form and if it's blank equal to true that means that the the form is going to submit that this so like this field doesn't have to be filled okay that was redundant but yes uh the list date so when was uh, when was this listing uh, date what was the date of that listing for that we use models that date uh, date time field default now so at the time when it's listed for this we do, we imported this so now that's how we have access to it uh, contact email models that chart field max length 50 and then this this is just for the admin panel so this is how it appears in the admin panel for you to actually um you know manage this data if you don't use this, so this is like a string so that you can see in the ad, in the admin panel, you can see like, you know, the title of the listing. Otherwise, it's going to give you like a random number. I don't think it's random, but it gives you like a really something that you won't be able to identify with anything. That's why we use that. And for the plural name, well, this is again for the admin panel. You can do more research on this if you want to. All right. So that's for that an explanation again of these fields for like a chart field. It's like for a small and large sized strings, image field for that, you know, all of that. So all the explanation is here. So it converts an object into a string. You know, you can see all of this. Okay. So now we get to the, uh, so let's save this file. So save that. Now go to the admin.py and for this one we have to register the model uh, so that we can see it and manage it in the admin panel. So first of all we need to to import the the model that we just created. Model is listings, it's important. And now admin that site the register uh, listings. So that's how you register in the listings uh, in the in the admin panel. So go to the admin panel and do all of uh, admin uh, a py file and do all of this. So after you did this, uh, we have to well let's stop the server first. And now let's run this migration. So every time that you edit the models.py file, you have to run, uh, so make migrations and migrate all the changes that you that you made so that they uh, consolidate in the database. So let's do that. So make migrations. And then it tells you what you did. So you created a model listings. There was no model before, so now we just created it. So now we have it, and now we have to migrate, migrate this. So everything is okay. And now let's run the server once again. Okay. So I already have it open. So if we go here, you know, I'll just refresh it, and you should see it appear here, like the the listings model. The listings model, you should see it. So as you can see listings. So let's go back to models for a, for a second. So like the plural name. So th this is how it appears in the admin panel. That's why. So the listings. See now you see all listings. O otherwise it would, it would it would just appear in a different way. So go to listings. There is no listings right now, but we can create one if we want to. And that's what we're gonna do. So. So go here, go to add listings and just add any listing. So in this case, let me see which one I added. Uh, Scott Spark. So that's the title, the name of the bike. Condition, new, wh what kind of product it is. It's a bike. So you wanted someone to pick it up. What's the price? 4K uh, city. 
Angeles State California and then you know the the zip code I guess so yeah and now you have so I don't I don't think I have the photos for that so I'm just gonna select that uh, some random photos that I have so let's go here and then you can uh, we'll just select these for now this is not like a Scott bike by the way that one is blurry uh, okay and then for the third one you could upload a new another pic another photo or picture but you don't have to this is not mandatory as you can see this is bold this is not which means that you will be able to submit the form even if this is not uh, even if this is not filled so here as you can see we set it to blank equal to true so you can you can leave it blank and it gives you the date it already gets the date so this is today's date now uh, the time zone I think it's uh, just four hours behind okay and the contact email so we're gonna use admin gmail.com you don't see it here, but the contact email is after list date, I guess. All right, so let's save it. And there you have it. There you have your uh, listing. And you see the title of the listing here. Why? Because we set it to return, like for the string for in the admin panel to show you the listing. We set it to return the self, that title. That's how, that's why you get the title. You can also use the set the price at the city, and then you uh, self that city self that price, and then you'll get that here instead. All right. Here you have two listings. It's the same thing. Yeah. Um. I think that's all for this chapter. Yep. Then you have the quiz here. If you wanna see it, see it. The challenge, pretty easy. And then you have the answers. And chapter three is the home home page. So we'll work on that next. All right. So this is where uh, you can create more listings if you want to. You can uh, go back and edit the listing. Just change something. So, yeah, so I think that's all for this one. It's a pretty short uh, chapter, pretty short video as well. So if you haven't subscribed again, please subscribe. And that will help me a lot. And I'll see you on the next video.